Hi everyone, my name is Patrick from Town & Country. Hopefully you and I have already had a chance to meet on the dance floor. Today I'm here for DC Rawhides, the group that sponsors Town & Country, and I'd like to talk with you about footwear. Our goal at Town & Country is to teach you how to two-step. Sometimes people find learning the two-step frustrating. What you might not know is that how easy it is to learn the two-step or how hard it is to learn the two-step depends in part simply on what you have on your foot. So let's talk through a few options. One option you have is to invest in a cowboy boot. The good thing about a cowboy boot is that it has a leather sole that allows you to slide across the floor, and that's the key to being able to do the two-step. The other thing about a cowboy boot is that it has a heel, and that heel slightly changes your stance. So both of those things are advantages in terms of learning. As I said though, a cowboy boot can be an investment, and you'd have to think about whether or not you wanted to spend the money. Let's talk about some options that you have rather than buying a cowboy boot. But before we talk about those options, let's talk about some footwear that you might want to avoid. This would be the section titled, What Not to Wear. That is, what not to wear if you're looking to learn to dance. If you're coming to drink, if you're coming to watch, if you're just coming to have fun, wear whatever you want. But if you're coming to learn and you don't want to be frustrated, think before choosing either of these. The first would be the flip-flop. The problem with the flip-flop is that it does just that. Whenever you move, it both flips and it flops. You don't want the heel kicking up as you're trying to learn the two-step. The other problem with the flip-flop is that it doesn't slide across the floor. Another shoe that you might want to think about before you come to dance in it is the heel. You may have a great deal of experience navigating the world in a heel, and if you do have that experience and you feel comfortable, feel free to wear one. But if you can't slide across the floor, or if the heel is so high that you might be in danger of toppling over, this might not be the right shoe for you. So, what are your options? Well, many people come to town and country wearing tennis shoes. Tennis shoes are great. They're lightweight, they're comfortable, we associate them with the gym and with athleticism, so why not dance in them? Well, there's no reason not to dance in them, except that they have rubber soles. And like any rubber sole, what they're gonna do is they're gonna have a tendency to grip and stick on the floor, which makes it almost look like you're starting and stopping. There's an easy solution to that though. Those of you who have come to our dance know that we have dance angels and dance stewards. They're meant to make sure you're having a good time. If you ask any of our dance angels or dance stewards for a piece of blue tape, that's all it is, a piece of blue painter's tape, you can run it from the heel of your, your shoe to the toe, smooth it out, and what it will do is it'll reduce the friction that's keeping you from moving. A much simpler option and a less expensive option than either the cowboy boot or using the tape is to look in your closet. If you look in your closet, you're bound to see that you have a dress shoe. And if you look at the bottom of that dress shoe, in all likelihood, it has a leather sole. That leather sole will allow you to slide across the floor just like a cowboy boot will without the investment. As I said earlier, our goal is to make sure that you can learn how to two-step. Dancing gives us so much pleasure and it allows us to enjoy a community of other dancers. We want you to be part of it. So think about the footwear you are going to wear when you're learning to dance and that should make it a less frustrating experience and help ensure your success. Either way, anyway, we look forward to seeing you at Town & Country and look forward to seeing you on the dance floor.